Is there any point in modeling this one? <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be bleaching some t-shirts. <laughs> and obviously I'm a very very fashionable person and I have some great experience in DIY clothing. They got rave reviews, people loved them. I still wear my tie-dye t-shirt. Unfortunately I don't fit into my rip-off Gucci jacket anymore. But I've got seven t-shirts and I thought we would do seven different kinds of designs on them using bleach and using variations of bleaching. And hopefully they'll turn out pretty good. But before we get into the bleaching, make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you never miss an upload. If you're going to do this at home as well, I would always recommend getting some gloves. So obviously you don't get bleach all over your hands. And for the first two t-shirts, I want to do like a dip dye kind of bleached effect. And what I've got is I've just got my bucket of water with some bleach and it's about a 50-50 mixture. And I think I'm going to do one from the bottom and one from the top. Right, I think I wanted about up to there. I think that'll look quite cool. And obviously we just leave this to dry. Right, for the second one I want to do exactly the same, but I want the neck and the arms bleached. I think these will look really good as well. And you'll have to wait till the end of the video to see how these turned out. Yeah, I think I'll go that far up with this one. Right, and for these two t-shirts, I want to do a tie-dye effect. So I basically just want to kind of scrumple the t-shirts up in any way I want and add some string to it, and then I'll submerge it into the bleach solution. I was going to get elastic bands for this, but I forgot. Thing is, I always find with tie-dye and stuff like that, it's kind of a mystery until the end as to whether it's turned out good or not. Now, in my look, It'll turn out shit. <laughs> right, so we've got that one there, which is kind of a sausage shape. And we'll dunk that one along with this one once I've figured out what I want to do. I know you can kind of pick it up and do like a swirl design. So I might try something like that. I tried this last time and it didn't work very well. But I definitely should have got elastic bands for this. I'm hoping that won't ruin it because I'm using this string. Right, now we'll just give them a good dunk in the water. And you just want to make sure they're obviously fully covered. Squeeze a bit of the excess off. I'm going to put that to one side. Right, and for this one I just want to use neat bleach and do a Jackson Pollock-esque design, which is basically just a splatter pattern. Super easy, be crazy with it. Voila! And we'll just put that to one side and we'll see how that one turns out. And for this one I want to spray it with a 50-50 solution of water and bleach, and I want to give it kind of an acid wash effect. And leave that one to dry and for this next one I just want to use some neat bleach and a paintbrush and I want to do a more structured kind of geometric design rather than it being kind of loose and abstract I wasn't gonna go all the way at to the top but I feel like I need to I can't fight the urge screw it I'm gonna go all the way at to the top Right, I think I'm going to stop myself. I'm getting carried away. I'll just end up having a full t-shirt covered in bleach. And all we need to do now is just leave them to one side for a couple of hours, really let the bleach kind of soak in, and then I'll wash them. And then I'll meet you back here and I can do a little runway for you, a little modeling show, and show you the finished results. Right, I'm back with my fully bleached t-shirts now, and we've had some that have worked really well, and we've had some that Oh, it's questionable. Right, so this is one of the dip dyed ones that I created. And I quite like it, I think it turned out well. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that the t-shirt at the bottom turned grey. And I wasn't expecting it to go grey. I thought it was gonna go for like a light pink or maybe even like a white. It still has worked and it's done what I wanted it to do. It just, the color combination was a bit strange. Right, and then this is our other dip dyed one. And this one's gone crazy. It's gone so mad. I really love it though. So like on the back, it hasn't kind of taken all the color out. It's just taken parts of it out. It's given it kind of like a tie dye effect. I think it looks really cool. And I think the color combination looks really good as well. Kind of the 
white, light blue, and the darker blue. But yeah, I think it's got some really nice patterns on that one. Right, this is the acid wash one that we did with the spray bottle. And unfortunately, I think I got carried away with the sprayer, and I've basically just bleached all the color out of it. Like, you can tell on the back it's a bit darker, and on the front it's lighter. But you can kind of see around the edges that it's got that kind of speckled effect, but I wanted that all over. So if I was doing this one again, I'd be a bit more light-handed with the spray. Right, this is the painted geometric design, and I think this one looks really cool, actually. And I'm kind of glad I got carried away and went all the way at the top. It reminds me a little bit of masking tape, and when you do kind of the masking tape on the paper, with the ink and then you kind of pull the mask and tape off. It's given that kind of print. It's very textured. I think that's one of the best ones actually. Right. Can anyone guess which one this one was? I can't even remember. Oh, I think was was it green this t-shirt? This was one of the tie-dye attempts and I basically just bleached all the colour out of it and turned it from a green t-shirt to a yellowy white t-shirt. So this one didn't work. This one is another one of the tie-dyed ones and it didn't turn out particularly well either. And I've got a hole in it now for some reason. <laughs> there is some bleaching on it and there is some patterns on it. It's just a lot more subtle than I thought it was going to be. And then finally, you've got the Jackson Pollock Splatter-esque t-shirt design. And this one's another one of my favorites. I think it looks really cool. Super funky. I just really like the colors on it. I think it turned out really good. So yeah, there was definitely a mixed bag on which ones worked and which ones didn't. But to give you the full effect, I think we need to do a little montage. I think we need to have a narcissistic fashion montage. And that way you get to see what they look like on the body. I have to admit, I went out drinking a couple of days ago and had far too many cocktails and I queued it the next day with a McDonald's. So if I've got a bit of a gut on, I apologize. But it doesn't mean I can't model the shit out of these clothes. Right, editor, cue the montage. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that montage. I guarantee you, you probably didn't cringe as hard as I did while I edited it. <laughs> but overall, I do think these t-shirts turned out quite well. A couple of them didn't turn out that great, but I love this one. Really love this one. I think this one's my favorite one and it matches my hair, which is just perfect. But I think with bleaching and acid wash and all that kind of stuff, you can be as creative as you want. And I don't think there are any particular rules. Just be careful if you are gonna bleach something that you don't get too kind of carried away with it because otherwise you just end up with a colored t-shirt that turns into a different colored t-shirt rather than having a design or a pattern or any kind of texture on it but at least i've learned that now but hopefully you did enjoy today's video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you next week for a brand new video bye